Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to blur moving object inside the power director. I'm going to explain you everything here in detail. This process is very easy. Let's begin. So first you can see we are here inside the power director in the timeline mode and we have one example video. Let me play this video so you will see what we are going to do. You can see in this video we have a one moving object which is going through the forward direction and we will track this object and we will apply a blur on it. Okay, so we are going to track this moving object. So first we have to decide the starting place from where you want to put a blur on it. So I have decided this place on the timeline. So so whatever your case, uh, just uh, select the starting point. So I have placed the pointer at this place. Okay, now the right click, go to the edit video and then come to the option motion tracker. Click on it. Tracker, you will see motion tracker window. Here, this setup will give us some tools and some uh, functionality to track this moving object. So we have to do some adjustment to track. Let me explain you. You can see this slider. So this is the complete length of the video. If you place it left side, that means this is the very beginning. And when you put it on the very right side, so this is the end of the video. So this way you can adjust the starting point of the tracking and the ending point of the tracking video. So suppose one object is moving for the from the particular point in the video and which is going to disappear after 30 seconds or a particular time, then you have to fix that position first. So I'm assuming my starting point is set. Now I am selecting the ending thing, the ending point. So we will apply the uh, blur between these two points. So first we will track the object and we will apply the blur. Okay. So my starting point is here. So the object starts appearing uh, from this point of time. Okay. So now on the screen, you can see this is a square box. This is the tracking uh, device, you can call it. So with the help of this uh, square box, we can track the object. So in my case, the object is a little bit small, uh, seems small because this is the mobile video. <laughs> but in your case, if object is a square, rectangle or circular, so you can adjust this uh, square width, height, as per your need so this way i have placed this tracking this tracking square tracking square on this object and the object is properly covered if your object is object height is more than this object you can adjust you can stretch and stretch out compress this square tracking square by default one tracker is added so first i will remove this tracker from this place and then i will add the fresh tracker okay so click here add tracker button then you will see one tracking is added now the same thing i will do which i was telling you i have to uh, final that what is the starting point of the video and what will be the ending point of our tracking that means the end time of the video so between these two things between these two time interval we will track our object now the second step is we have to come on the left hand side and we have to select the first option so i have tried both options but the first options will give you the best result you will get accurate object tracking of this move. Okay, so simply you have to click on the track button and the video will start playing and you can see the rectangle in yellow color 
is following that moving object. That's great. So the algorithm is doing its work properly. When my object will go out from the screen, this tracking object will be placed. So this way we have tracked the object and we have the track proper tracking added here. Now in the third step, we have to apply some blur. In the left hand side, you can see the step three is mentioned. Okay, so we will uh, see how many types of blur we can apply on it. So click on this FX. When you click on the FX, you will see some properties. Property box is opened. And also you will see the another rectangle square is appeared on this object. Okay, so our first rectangle is in its place, but another rectangle is appeared. That is also adjustable. You can stretch it out. You can compress it. Okay, so basically this is the place where you will apply the blur. And uh, when you click on this drop down, you will see some types of blur available like mosaic, simple blur, Gaussian blur and the spotlight. A spotlight is something different. Like if you want to blur rest of the things in the video and you want to simply focus on this moving object, that also be done with the same way but we uh, have a target we want to put a blur so we simply select blur option and the mask type and the important thing if your need is to put a blur as a circle so you can choose the mask type as a circle if you want to put a blur as a square box you can simply select the box so basic of blur shape okay and then we have uh, the degree of blur means the intensity you can call it the intensity means you want a strong blur so just increase the slider from the right hand side and if you want a light blur just adjust it okay and this the checkbox so if you want to invert effect area so the apply blur will be in the reverse way all done click on ok button that's all so blur is applied successfully here now we will test is this working properly or not you can see on this timeline this small square box this shows blur is applied on your video when we play this video we found the great result you can see we applied the circular blur and the object tracking is 99% accurate. See this, my blur box is following that object properly. Because we have given the uh, starting point and the ending point for this object tracking. So blur will be applied only in that interval. So this way we can apply, we can track the moving object and we can apply the blur on it. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.